Tips, experienced mixed fortunes after his 2017 victory in Tokyo, dropping out of Berlin in September but bouncing back to finish second at the New York City Marathon in November. Kipson is aiming to break world record in Tokyo Sunday with a goal time of 2 hours 02 minutes and 50 seconds. Kipson's main competitors are Ethiopian Skei Mikonen, his compatriot Faiza Lilesa, the 2016 Olympic silver medalist, and Kenyan Dixon Chamba, whose 2 hours 04 minutes 32 seconds personal best was set in the 2014 Chicago Marathon. Chamba won in Tokyo that year and has finished third in each subsequent edition. Other contenders include Kenyan Vincent Kaiprudo, Gideon Kipketer, and Amos Kaiprudo. Former winners Hela Kiprop from Kenya and Ethiopia's Verhain Dibaba lead the women's field. Others runners include Kenyan Purity Ryan Repo, Rudy Naga and Shore Demise of Ethiopia. In its 11-year history, no runner has won the Tokyo Marathon more than once. Separately, national athletics team to this year's World Indoor Athletics Championships is optimistic of bagging medals in the event set to be held in Birmingham City between 1st and 4th of next month. Head coach William Danui remained optimistic his team will weather the storm and post better performance to eclipse the two bronze medals won in Portland, USA in the 2016 edition. The Kenyan team will be led by former World Indoor 3000 meters champion Helen Obiri. In Istanbul in 2012 Obiri won gold medal in the event beating Mesrit Differ of Ethiopia to the second spot. In Birmingham Obiri will face stiff competition from the reigning champion Jens B. Dibaba of Ethiopia. Kenya has named Obiri together with Beatrice Chepko Ek and Margaret Nyera in 800 meters race. Ethiopia will see Dibaba double up in 1,500 meters and 3,000 meters. The IF has confirmed that with 618 athletes from 145 countries will take part in the global event and it will be the biggest congregation of elite runners for the four-day championships. A total of 547 athletes from 148 countries took part in the event two years ago in Portland, USA.